All right, guys, so chest day. I've warmed up with 50, 70, 100. Now I'm at 120 pounds. These are heavy 120s, ironclad. He got a deal on them or something, because these do not match the number. Anyway, so this is one arm unilateral bench press with a dumbbell. Now, thing is you want half your body off the bench. So you really want to split your body from ass crack to shoulder blade, even half your head. And that activates your core like nothing else. And it forces you to tighten your glutes, which is a key element in bench pressing with a barbell or even dumbbells bilaterally. So again, you get the weight, excuse me, you get the weight up, lay back. This arm is used for support. Try to keep it stable. You can do whatever you want with it. Just try not to be crazy with it. So, get in position. Definitely try this. Go half your body off the bench, half your head up. Perfect. There you go. Rock it. Good. Perfect form. There you go. Yeah, set that arm hand. Good. Good. Alright, so right now we're doing bilateral isometric hold bench press. These same 150, anybody who's ever trained in ironclad, Knows these are more like 170s. So I'm gonna hold one arm in the air and press with the other arm. But we're gonna at least try. There you go. Last time I saw 150s being pressed, Devin Physique Torres Peck. Doesn't help that he only weighs 150. All right, so the main brunt of our workout, we got warm ups done with the unilateral, core is all warmed up, heavy set with the 150 pound bilateral. I'm gonna do, if you guys see my micro sheet video, we did 100 rep, um, 100 rep dumbbell press with 100 pounds. So what I'm gonna do, 10 sets of 10, with 100 pounds. That'll be a part of my workout. Volume, 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 volume! So this is set one. All right, so, nine more to go. Some flies. Ow. You know, she's doing her 10 sets with 20 pounds. Let's see, we need to up the dose. We'll work on that later. Upping the dose. We've done heavy pressing, we've done volume pressing, now we're getting deep pressing, which means we're doing some fucking pec deck flies. Here, I worked up with my second set, so I'm just gonna do, what, four sets of 10 to 12? But, squeeze. I like these better than dumbbell. A lot of people like you freeway knots. He's like, fuck machine, dude. I just did like 80 sets of fucking dumbbells. The end of the dumbbells, when you come past here, your chest ain't doing shit. So it's literally right to here. This gives me a full contraction of the top. So I like cables or machines for flies. Dumbbell flies can suck my motherfucking wiki wiki. So the final thing we do is four sets. Four sets of cable crossovers, eight to 12 reps. It's really getting it out there. A lot of sets, a lot of reps, a lot of weight, but no barbell bench. The reason being my shoulders have been a little wacky lately. And barbell bench, at the end of the day, it works a little bit of chest. A lot of lats and front delts going on there. So I hope you enjoyed it. Try some of this shit in your workout. And that's I not had it. a day off in five weeks. A lot of that suit overtraining solutions. I take it every workout. Now today, I'm foregoing my post-workout shake because I'm going to the brunch cafe next door. I love that. Always get my two scoops. I just throw it in the rest of my workout shake, my machine fuel. 
and I'm good to go. So I hope you guys enjoy that. Hopefully you take some stuff from this workout. Try over training solutions. Top points on TigerFitness.com. Link below. That's another day.